Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going out. We got a little bit of surprise. I installed a new accessory on my truck. It's going to be awesome. Heading up to the backcountry. Not too sure where yet. Uh, and I brought my little ugly drum smoker that I built. Uh, I'm going to smoke up some chicken, I think. While well, I'm out there, we'll see how things go. Alright, I'll see you then. everybody well we're here uh, I just got a little bit of a drive-in um, to my camp spot so yeah I will uh, see when we get there everyone so we're back at it again uh, it's a beautiful day I'm taking advantage of these nice fall days uh, drive in was beautiful as you can see leaves are changing it's gonna be awesome uh, brought my smoker that's exciting built that that was a couple videos ago sorry about that video I'm not really happy with it if anyone wants me to do another video on how to build that I'd be awesome uh, still mildly ticked off about it all right Let's get at it. Well, now I'm gonna start up my chimney. I got my chimney here. And my tumbleweeds. Take one tumble. We got my uh, light ore. the charcoal basket over top. I'll be back in about 10 minutes once those charcoals are done. Yeah, well, looks like it's done so far. Take a look, nice and red and hot. I don't want to hold it too close to melt the camera, but there we go. I'm gonna throw this in the charcoal box and then uh, get it up to temp and then I can throw the chicken on. All right. Put that where there's no grass so it can cool off a little bit. I'm going to let that sit out for about five minutes just to get some airflow happening and then I'm going to throw the lid on just to let it get going. These two things go back on and then my front ball valve controls the air on top of the exhaust port. All right, I got the charcoal basket in. Uh, now I just need to wait until the temperature drops. Hopefully it won't take too, too long to level out. I want to get it down to like... 225 250 and it's sitting at like 325 right now so hopefully it's not gonna it's gonna come down in temperature but we'll t it might take a little bit well uh it's coming down nicely it's wet at 273 uh once it get to about 150 i'll start playing around to get it to stay at a certain temperature maybe even a little lower than that and then uh, i should be ready to put the chicken on all right Oh, here we go. It looks like the temperature's holding at about 250, 248. That's perfect. Um, I'm gonna take these chicken out. I'm gonna dry them off a bit. 
because they're probably pretty wet because they were unthawing. Uh, I'm using the last of um, the last of it. I was gonna smoke some smoke some potatoes and grab some veggies, but I had kind of a rough morning. Um, so yeah, um, I just ran out of time. I lost my keys. I uh, forgot to register my vehicle. Um, just a just a bunch of crap, man. Don't worry, I'm not too worried. I have Lysol wipes, so I'll be wiping my hands after this, I know. Um, that was my girlfriend's idea. She's a smart cookie. Pat these dry so I can put some rub on them. This I'm gonna put in here. Cause that's gonna go into the rub out. And get a Lysol wipe pad maybe. Well, a couple because, well, these things are sometimes really dumb. Except they drive me insane. I'm gonna do whatever. I picked up this new dry rub I wanna really try out. It was kind of a spontaneous purchase. Nobody really referred it to me. I just was like, hey, that sounds like really it might be pretty good on chicken. So yeah, I'm Still kind of mad at the whole <laughs> me building a smoker thing. I did not work out according to plan. It never does. But sometimes my brain goes a little haywire when I'm uh, when I'm trying to build stuff because I just get so focused on building and I just forget to try stuff out. So these probably won't take super long. I'm going to put a temperature probe. It says five hours, but I'm cooking a little higher than normal. So, sorry, had to adjust my, my, my air just to maintain it. It's dropping a little bit faster than I'd like. Use this because I have this feeling that it... Okay. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess. Uh, those should be going for a couple, few hours anyways. I'll keep an eye on the temp. Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. My back a couple days ago bending over at home and man I don't know sleeping in my truck tonight might be uh, not so good that's okay I brought some muscle relaxers I'll take those before bed hopefully they're the workout I uh, brought my imaging rig again um, there's a few clouds but honestly it might not be too bad so hopefully it'll be all good i'll get to do some imaging again tonight and yeah um food's going good it's uh sitting at about 259. it's a little higher than i would like but i have all the air vents closed and it's just kind of doing its thing right now it's it's going so it's kind of doing its own little thing it's sitting at about 260, 259. It'll go up to 263. And yeah, it stays kind of in that spot. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Smells good. The chicken's starting to cook. So 
I'll check it in uh, probably about 10 minutes just to see how it's coming along. And yeah, I'm excited. I've been kind of looking for this beer ever since we went to Victoria because, man, so good. My banana bread beer, holy moly. Let's go check the chicken. Oh yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along, but not quite. Mm. Even though the temp says it is, but I'm gonna go, I want that, that skin to get a little crispier. All right, let's go hang out some more. Inside to get washed a little bit. Cutlery. We're almost there. Hey everyone. Well, I think the chicken's done. It's a little after five. I gave it a few extra more minutes. So let's check it out. Chicken, chicken. I left them in there for a little bit longer. We're gonna kill this. There we go. And choke it off. So that way, so that way, it doesn't start back up. It just goes back out. All right, here we go. Let's try this out. Oh, smells so good. Look at that. Smoked chicken, four hours at about, I'm gonna say 250. A couple times got a little out of control, but it was pretty much 250 for four hours. Uh, smells awesome. Uh, I'm gonna dig in. Oh, it's so crispy. Oh yeah, smells so good. But they're hot. It's perfect. Skin just peels right off. Mm-hmm. That thing coming camp with be lots. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna eat this up. I'll see you later. Well, it is time for another beer 30. That was top notch. Uh, probably the best thing I've ever made camping so far. Um, yeah, I was gonna image, but it looks like the clouds are rolling in. So I'm not and also, I don't know if I should stay up that late. I have to be up super early. I don't really want to have to um, pack up my imaging rig um, in the morning. I have to basically get up and go. Go, go, go. So, yeah. The flies are out of control. That's all I have to say. Bye. Happy rear 30. To a delicious food. Oh, yeah, man, this, uh, this fall's been nice. Uh, we're looking at 21, 22 degrees for the next week. Uh, I, yeah, climate change, I guess, but it's crazy. Um, but I live in Alberta. It's only a matter of time before I think that's going to bite us in the butt. 
and we might pay for it in January, February. So, well, I think I'm just going to hang out for a bit and then, uh, I don't know. I think I might just hop in the back of the truck and watch a movie. See if my back can handle it. Maybe take some, maybe take some, uh, muscle relaxers. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, I'll see you later. everyone I finished my movie just gonna hop into bed it's nine o'clock a little after nine I'm kind of tired so I'll see you in the morning all right see you then <sighs> morning everyone well she early <laughs> mm-hmm well I should probably get up. I need to get out of here. I, have to, I really do have to be back by 8 o'clock. Alright. I'll see you on the outside of my truck. Alright. Well everyone. I'm in the truck. I got everything packed. I had to do a couple minor uh, rearrangements. Um, but uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. I uh, hope you watch it. Subscribe, like, comment. I like hearing from you guys. That'd be awesome. See you on the next adventure.